So we're here at the Museum of Nature um, and the idea is to build three kayaks and use these kayaks essentially on students on ice. So we're constructing the kayaks in kind of a public exhibit over the next two weeks. And afterwards, we'll deconstruct the kayaks, take them all apart, put them in a box, and then put them on the students on ice ship. And there, the students will have the opportunity to actually build the kayaks themselves, put the skins on, and then hopefully by the time we get to the Northwest Passage, they'll be able to paddle them. And that's why the paddles are so thin. Like, you don't want to just waste energy plowing into the bow wave. You only want to go that speed and no faster. I guess I've always been really interested in kayaks from Greenland. I've done a bunch of trips in Greenland and I was really impressed at how culturally important the kayaks were for the people there. When I got back from Greenland, I put together a two-month expedition and then put together a team and we built four kayaks and paddled across southern Baffin Island. I feel like Inuit uh, people have given so much culturally to Canada. Uh, it's really added a lot of vibrance to our culture. You know, they gave us the kayak. It's become an Olympic sport now. Um, tons of people kayak across Canada, and yet they're not particularly recognized for that, and they're not necessarily thanked for that. And so I see my role in this project uh, as kind of a way of, of building recognition for that, building pride, and then building interest in kayaking again throughout the north. Even if people just think that it's cool and it's neat, I feel that's a big accomplishment.